Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, welcome to a new Horizon 4 episode. This week's Forza Monthly was like two days ago as it actually came in a lot earlier than normal to mark the release of the new console's optimization of Horizon 4. So let's quickly go through the new content that was revealed and see how we can unlock the new cars. We'll also check other highlights of the upcoming Four Seasons Festival playlist of the new Series 29 starting on the 19th of November, so roughly two weeks from now till the 17th of December, so quite close to Christmas. We'll just have to wait and see what the Christmas update will bring us, so I hope something special, but we'll see. One last thing before going through the upcoming seasons, if you enjoy the content make sure to like and subscribe for more, as well as tune in every week for the full festival playlist completion episodes and more. Thanks. Now, as you might already know, the new cars will be the 95 BMW 850 CSI, also featured in Motorsport 7, 6, 4 and Horizon 2, followed by the 90 Porsche 911 reimagined by Singer and the 87 Mercedes AMG Hammer Coupe, which are both new additions to the series as far as I know, never being featured before in a Forza title. I just hope they didn't just copy some engine sounds from other cars for this as well. Next, let's quickly go through the upcoming festival playlist to see how we can win the new cars, the upcoming returning cars, as well as remember that for the championships car rewards you need to win against at least highly skilled drivers. Also, 50% festival will get you another backstage pass, if you want to know more about it please check my dedicated video regarding it. So, for summer 50%, we're on to a good start with the all new 911 by Singer, while for 80% the Hammer opened up, which used to sell for over 12 million, but I guess you can find it easily nowadays. Next, we have a bunch of wheel spins like every new season, the chance to get our hands on the not long ago released Range Rover Volar from Winter Series 26 by winning the trial that awesome race against the unbeatable Drivatars. Other than that, well, not much, maybe the BMW even though at times the auction house is just full of them. For spring 50% with an all new car, the BMW 850 CSI. So actually really easy to obtain, get the weekly Forzaton, the 3 PRs and 3 championships the later against at least highly skilled drive avatars and you'll be over 50% in no time, for example in case you are not able to play online for an easier progression path. For 80% we have an Aussie, the HSV GTS from Summer 25. The other car worth mentioning here will be the 2011 Megan RS from the Concrete Jungle Championship as the AMC Rebel can be found in the auction house for under 1 million, which also goes for the 288 GTO. Winter 50% will get you the Spring 26 Nissan Pulsar, while for 80% the awesome Vulcan AMR. In addition, you can get the 77 Escort from the trial, as well as the Peugeot 205 Rally. Just by playing a full match of seasonal games, as winning is no longer required. There might be more to winter, but since they didn't show, we can know for sure what the championships have for us in store. And moving on to spring, for 50% the Lexus ISF from spring 27, so only two series back, which means its auction house current price tag will take a skydive, while for 80% the Rover SD1. Then if you don't already own from other series or the auction house you can get the Huracan Performante which I like the most stock as well as the new and highly awaited but not expected AMG Hammer Coupe. The F12 TDF is not really worth mentioning even though I am doing it right now as it is only 500k in the auto show. And with that we sum up all that's new in terms of free unlockables. An additional interesting thing is that the seasons presented by them no longer had a rivals events, so we'll need to see if that is replaced by any chance by anything else, or its points just go to ranked adventure and promo picture maybe, for the time being. 
This is visible in the summer, autumn and spring third shots. Now, besides that we have another short mention from them, optimizations for the new consoles, as some examples of how good the game will look on them. Since I'm a PC player and don't have access to any of the consoles, I'll just leave here the specs. Of course, the game will run smoother with an SSD versus HDD, while from the graphics point of view having around double the power with newer and faster RAM and CPUs, this can only go one way. So for direct live comparison, sorry, but I can't help with that, just know that it will look much better on the new consoles with improved resolution and anti-aliasing. Which car is your favorite from update 29? I think I'll go with the Porsche as I really love what they did with the classic 911, but please let me know in the comment section below what's your favorite. Thanks for watching and till next time have fun racing and don't forget to like and subscribe for more Forza content as well as other car games.